let's see how to do distributed development with Cloud Edition. First, I'm going to introduce the team. It will be me working on macOS, Pam working from Linux, and Mike working from Windows. And I'll be working centralized while the others will be undistributed. Mike was working centralized from the previous tutorial, but now will we jump to work distributed. First, he refreshes the branch explorer to see the latest changes, and there are new changes there. And then, you look carefully, you'll see he's still connected to the cloud repo. So that's something he's going to change. So he goes to the repository list and check he already has a local repo called Quake. And now Mike has to download the changes from the remote repository in the cloud to his local repo. And in order to do that, he has a couple of options. He can use a sync view, but he doesn't have like a sync view yet. So what he's going to do is to go for the cloud repository, list the Quake repository in the cloud, and then create the sync view for it. This is actually what's needed to do to synchronize the two repositories. So to make sure the local repo has the branches or has the content coming from the, from the remote one. So he clicks on pull visible and he's going to pull everything to local. Here he is basically pulling everything, the, the three branches that were on, on the central server. So he's creating like a local clone. That's not mandatory. You can only pull a few branches if you want, but in this case, we will just pull everything. Now he has to connect his workspace to the local repository instead of the remote one, the cloud one. So he's going to show the branch explorer for his local repo. Everything is there except the home icon because he's still connected to the cloud repository. To connect to the local repo, he's going to simply switch to the local main branch. So remember he was connected to cloud, now he switches. And since his workspace already had content and basically has to download exactly the same thing, nothing is going to be downloaded. Plastic is just rehashing the, the workspace, figuring out if there's something new to download. And in this case, there's nothing new to download. So he's now seeing to the local repo. Now Mike creates a branch and starts working on it. So, well, first check that we are now working on the local repo. Just check that. And now right click on the chain set, create branch from this chain set. We will click on switch workspace to this branch. And then we just create a branch and give it a comment, which is something very interesting to know what the branch is about, even when it's linked to an issue tracker or something. So we click OK and immediately jump to edit a, a file. So this is the same file I used on the previous tutorials. And Mike is basically just making a small modification to it. Nothing super fancy. From pending changes, he's going to refresh and now, well, Let's do something. He's going to actually configure the system to be in auto refresh mode. So this time, th this way you always have your pending changes updated, right? So basically he just uh, finds a change. He can diff it online there and just enter a comment and make a checking. This is going to be the first checking Mike does on his local branch. So now he's going to basically uh, push it back to the cloud repository. He can use the sync view as we did before, or he can go right click on the branch and push the branch to the remote. This time we'll do it this way. He will locally and push the branch to the cloud repo. Now it's my turn to check the changes. So I'm back on my Mac. I just click on refresh and connect it directly to the cloud repository. And now I see the new branch from Mike just there. Let's switch to Pam. She was working centralized before. She's going to switch to distributed, pull the changes, merge them, and push them back to the cloud repository. Pam was directly connected to the cloud repository, so she's going to refresh and see the new changes and so on. So the next thing, she's going to click on switch workspace, click on repositories, and then create a new local repository because she didn't have one. So right click on the list, create new repository, and then she's going to create a new repo in local. So just create, you're there, and then create a, re a workspace for this repo. When she, when she does that, she ha just has to complete the path where she wants the, the new workspace to be, and then she just uh, double click and switch to it. Now, what she's going to do is to click on the cloud and then create a scene view, quite easy. The, the, the dialog will just propose how to create the scene view, then we'll expand it and we'll see everything that is there. And like what Mike did before, she's not going to pull everything. She's just going to pull a few branches. She's only pulling the main branch uh, because uh, now you can see we can 
pull just parts of a repo that's not an issue she already has the changes on the on, on her local uh, repo but she didn't switch to the to the branch yet she, her workspace is still empty as, as you can see here but we can also click on update and then everything will download now everything is there now back to the branch explorer right click on the branch replication pull remote branch because she's going to bring another branch in this case we're going to get task 03 the, the branch that mike just created so we're going to pull it to local now it's coming and now the branch is is there right so what pam is going to do now is basically to merge task 03 back into main she will do it locally and well, basically the merge was automatic because there were not conflicts. She just sees how file system was uh, modified. And then there's a merge in progress, as you can see. She's going to basically just check in, saying the branch was already merged. And now she's done. The next thing she's going to do is basically to pull main back. Right, sorry, push it back. So just push back to the, to the cloud repo and she's done with that. Let's go back to my Mac and I'm going to check how the merge was pushed back. So I still don't see it. I just refresh it and the merge is there. Mike will now pull and find how his branch was actually merged. So he will just right click on the branch, pull this branch or the other alternative, which is going to the scene view. So now he sees there's a, a chain set ready to be pulled. So, so he's going to pull it. Let's click on start. The pull starts and the new change is uh, already there. Back to the Branch Explorer, refresh, and he sees the merge. 